Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and in this video I am going to a hair transplant clinic in London to get PRP injections into my scalp. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I am tracking my whole hair transplant recovery process and growth process all on this channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of these uploads. Really quick recap for anyone that hasn't seen my previous videos. I'm not taking any medication for thinning hair or anything like that, so I'm not using Finasteride or what was the other one? Minoxidil, that's the one, Minoxidil. That doesn't mean to say that I won't do in the future. I am thinking about it, but it depends. I'll see how, how PLP goes, and if it is, if it does really, really help, then well, I might just go down that route in future instead. I haven't ever try to use Rogaine. It's a, that's a shampoo that you can use to like help stimulate hair growth in the scalp. I'm not sure. My problem isn't thin hair. It was just my hairline. I wasn't, I wasn't, I haven't loved my hairline for a good 15 years. I am coming up to being 32. So for anyone who's <laughs> asking me questions about how old I am, I am 32 this year, a big number. I'm about four months in now. I went to Vinci Hair Clinic on Harley Street to get my hair transplant done. I had 2,500 hair grafts and they took them from the back of my head, put them in the front of my head. It was an FUE transplant rather than an FUT transplant. And the main reason why I went for FUE rather than FUT is because FUT leaves quite a visible scar along the back if you keep your hair short. And I didn't want to have that visible scar, so. FUE, where they just transfer individual bits of hair rather than cutting a strip of your scalp from the back and then transferring it that way. So in today's video, I'm going to be heading to Harley Street to get my PRP injections done. Um, if you don't know what PRP injections are, it stands for platelet rich plasma and it's a three-step process. First part of the process is taking your blood and then that gets put into a centrifuge where it's basically just spun around really, really fast. After about 10 minutes in the centrifuge, the blood will have separated into three different layers. Platelet poor plasma, platelet rich plasma, and red blood cells. And then in the third step of the PRP procedure, they draw the platelet rich plasma into a syringe and that is what is injected into the head to help stimulate hair growth. PRP is often used as a substitute for hair transplants for people that have got thinning or male or female pattern baldness. It's a less invasive option than hair transplants, so you can use either or, but PRP is not as effective as an actual hair transplant. But you can use it in conjunction with a hair transplant to help boost the hair growth, to help thicken the hair. From my research, what I found online is that it is very effective. The before and after results that I have seen have been really, really good with just PRP. So that is also something you might want to consider if you are thinking about getting a hair transplant. You may want to just go down the PRP route instead of having a full-blown hair transplant if all you want to do is thicken up your hair. But as always, check with your doctor, have a consultation and search around before you get any, any procedures done so that you know what you're getting yourself into. And also do it for you, don't do it for anyone else. PRP sessions can vary in price, but at Vinci Hair Clinic it's around £600 per session. For me, that £600 was covered in my cost for my hair transplant. I got it as like a round package thing. So I am going in there for free now and I'm almost at the four month mark. So my hair is growing quite a bit since the beginning, since I first had the, the hair transplant done. See so, yeah, there, it's, it's quite a lot of growth. But yeah, it's looking good. I just want more. I want more. Oh, but yeah, I'm still early days. I'm not even six months down, so it's going good. It is going good. I'm just hoping that the PRP injections really give it a proper boost to help it grow even faster. I'm gonna take you guys with me, so uh, come along for the ride. I will share as much information about the process as I possibly can, and I will catch as much of it as I can on camera so you can see. So be prepared. There will be blood, there will be injections, and uh, yeah, if you're not into that stuff, then don't watch this video. But if you are interested in that stuff, carry on watching. And if you've got any questions, feel free to give me a shout and I will happily answer them. Either leave a comment down below and I will answer directly in the comment or send me a message on Instagram. Uh, my handle is here. So yeah, just send me a message and I will happily reply to anyone that has any questions about this process. Cool, see you in a bit. I've made it to Harley Street. I'm going to mask up and get myself inside. Let's go. 
I made it in. I am here. I ran to get here on time, but I am here and I'm ready to get this PRP injection stuff started and hopefully my hair will grow nice and thick. Get a really good close up of my tattoo there. Looks like loads of blood. <laughs> so that machine behind me, that there, there, is the centrifuge. And what that is doing is spinning the blood really, really fast. You saw all the different vials, so they're all in there. And they're spinning really, 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 really fast. Remember I said earlier on, platelet-rich plasma, platelet-weak plasma, and just the red blood cells. So then once that's done, it takes about seven to 10 minutes, then the platelet-rich plasma is what's gonna get injected into my forehead up here to make it nice and, nice and thick. Sebastian's all covered up again. Finished. So when it comes out, it's actually yellow, the plasma. Rather than bl like red. It's cool. Okay, we're gonna start now with no feel pain. Okay. And you want me to stop, okay? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's not a lot of feel pain, but if you want me to stop. Feels weird. thing of it. I stopped a little bit because it sticks. It feels strange. Tingly. There we go, all done. It literally takes no time at all. It looks a bit bumpy there where it's all gone in, but that's that's just, that will settle. But yeah, oh, a little bit stingy, but it's okay, it's fine. Nothing like major crazy or anything. It only, only stung a little bit, but uh, yeah. Can't wait for the results. Well, that was really, really fast. Over and done in less than 30 minutes. And yeah, really not that bad. Um, a little bit stingy, but not like crazy stingy. I only had to stop once. <laughs> I'm not really good with needles. So I'm quite surprised that I did quite well with like filming her taking my blood because that would normally freak me the hell out. But you know, anyway. So that was a session of PRP. I will hopefully be able to let you know what I think of it. And fingers crossed it, 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 does what it says on the tin. I'm excited. Now PRP obviously isn't a magical cure. There's, it's, it's, it's not like one treatment and then it's perfect forever. That's not how it works. It isn't a permanent solution and it is something you have to maintain, but I am just having the one session so I can 
give it an initial boost to just help it get going. Um, but I've seen some amazing before and after photos and, and success stories and stuff where people have uh, like from, it's like an eight month difference and they've had three treatments and their hair has gone from being really thin to being really thick. Obviously the more treatments you get done, the better. There was one guy that I saw, he had um, over five months, he had five treatments. So he had a treatment every month and his hair went from being quite thin to being really thick and that's just with PRP. But then obviously that is something he would have to not necessarily get every month, but he would have to continue doing it to maintain it because it helps stimulate the hair growth. And the three great things about PRP is that it's one, virtually pain-free. Two, there is very little risk involved because it's your own blood that they're using, they're taking it out and sticking it back in. And then thirdly, it's such a quick procedure. It doesn't last long at all. So you can be in and out within like an hour, depending on like how, how much blood you're getting taken and how much everything. I don't know the specifics of it, but you know, anyway, those are like the three great things about PRP. After this first treatment, I probably will get more PRP in the long run just to help maintain the growth and the quality of the hair and stuff, I guess. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please do give me a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget you can ask me any questions you like on my Instagram page. The handle is here. And if you are going through this process as well, let me know if you've if you've had PRP and do you think it works, then that's great, let me know. Um, I'm excited to see how this goes and I will keep you guys informed in my future updates. Stay tuned, there is more coming soon. Thanks for watching, bye.